Coach, the team competed in the IC4A championships this past weekend. Can you talk about what you saw from the team and how they performed? I'd say overall, um, you know, it was an okay meet. I think we um, we got off to a, a bit of a rough start um, in some of our individual events, the mile and the thousand. Um, but for those guys, it's been a long season, and they've had a lot of great performances. Um, so it, I think it was just uh, it's, it's time for them to take a rest and get ready for the outdoor season. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been mentioning this throughout the, the season that uh, the sprinters have been leading this team, and it was very evident, again, um, that they, uh, they were doing that at the IC4As. And it was, uh, they ran just, they had a phenomenal weekend with the school record and um, scoring for the first time. And uh, I'd have to go back into the, the archives and dust off some, some results to find out when the last time we scored in a 4x4, four four, but it's been a, a very, very long time, so... It was it was exciting. I mean that that's the kind of thing that uh, you know we need we need we we ended with that result and uh, with the sixth place finish and uh, and the school record and it it just it it left us with a, a, a really good feeling at the end of the season and uh, you know now we can take a break and we can build for outdoors and we've got that that good vibe and uh, it, it got everybody excited. I mean we had everybody down there watching all the distance guys watching and reacting and they're you know a lot of our distance guys are young so it, for them you know taking a few lumps at the IC4As and getting the experience is a good thing and then to see the success of a, a group of guys that have uh, worked really hard for it um, you know and they created a plan to do this when they were freshmen four years ago Jack and uh, Jack Hennessy and Connor O'Neill and, and it's great to see them achieve those results. Can you talk about the difficulty to run that fast of a time two times in a row because they broke the record the school record in the prelims and then broke the original school record again in the finals can you talk about how hard it is to stay consistent and to repeat the performance um it's extremely difficult i mean we've uh you know you see this time and time again and uh on on all teams where guys will make finals and then just uh you know not have any any juice left in the tank to uh to do anything with the final. Um, but uh, we knew going into the IC4As that they would have to run a school record just to make finals. Um, and so qualifying for finals was their goal. And um, you know, when they came out with a 313, we, we broke the school record by two seconds. It was a, you know, a huge breakthrough. And everybody ran extremely well. Um, you know, and uh, they were flat on their backs after the race. I mean, they, they, it took them a long time to recover just to get their breath, and uh, and when they did catch their breath, you know they found out they were racing again the next day. And so, um, you know, I, I I'm not sure that their initial reaction was excitement because they, I mean, they they put everything into that into that heat, and um, they were just thrilled with the uh, with the record. Um, so I came up to them and said, hey, you know, we're, we're this is step one, and tomorrow we've got to race again. Uh, and I told them not to think about it because you know they're they're out of they're out of gas. They got to recover. They got to get uh, so, some uh, treatment, and some ice bathing, and um, uh, food and sleep. And we'll think about it tomorrow's race tomorrow. And um, you know they came back very focused the next day. And you know that's what it takes. I think you just take it one step at a time, and you prepare for the race that. Um, is on hand, and then uh, you get after it, and you put yourself out there and uh, see what comes of it. And they did that twice in a row. I think it's phenomenal. Um, it just shows their, you know, the amount of work that they've put in to become really strong athletes to do that back to back. And um, I'd say that the finals was an even, it, it was, honestly, it was an even better race for them. It was much more physical, and um, there were four teams in their section with uh, absolutely nothing between them, and there was a lot of pushing, a lot of uh, just. Um, physicality of the race where you know your momentum was stopped just by the fact that someone was throwing an arm in front of you or somebody was pushing their way off the rail and um, so it was a much more tactical race and uh, to come back and run 314 um, you know and, and break the previous school record was was terrific to get the points was even better and um, just to set that kind of precedent for the team was the, the best thing that we could have hoped for. The team will have a week off from racing this upcoming weekend and then get into the outdoor season. Can you talk about how the team will train gearing up for the outdoor season? 
Well, um, we're going to try to stay off the track, weather pending, um, as much as we can from uh, this week through to Raleigh Relays. I don't really want to, um, you know, for the distance guys especially, I want to be off the track uh, completely until Raleigh Relays and just get back to basics, um, you know, tempos, long runs, hill work. Um, you know, we want to uh, we want to try to save the legs, but build the uh, build the engine, build, you know, get the uh, get the lungs uh, moving, and um, you know, so we do longer longer intervals and shorter rest, and just get back to some of the stuff we would have done at the end of cross country season, um, and then use Raleigh relays as as a rust buster, and it's a fun meet. Um, we run a ton of relays, and it's um, you know, it's it's better weather and uh, a chance just to just to get out and uh have some fun you know it's a it's a we'll we'll race a lot we'll run guys double or triple them up at that meet and just use it as a as a race and a workout at the same time and um you know for the sprinters uh they'll they they deserve their break and they're just going easy all week and we'll get back on the track but you know similar to the distance guys we'll do stuff that uh isn't as intense and try to build back up and get some strength for the uh for the rest of the year so Heading into the outdoor season, can you give us a little bit of a preview of how the season will pan out and what you're hoping for the team or individuals? Um, well, with the sprinters, we want to uh, come back to the ACCs and score. And we, um, you know, we got into a physical race where um, uh, Duke had tripped Miami and Miami fell, and we were taken out of the race simultaneously, and we missed our chance to score. And it was a it was a big team goal to come and score in that, especially uh, with the depth of this conference. It's uh, to score in that event would be an incredible achievement for us. So um, you know we had those points indoors uh, within our reach and and missed out in a rough race. So the sprinters want to come back and focus on relays. They want to they want to be. You know they're very team oriented and they want to uh put their focus on the relay and score at a c c s um you know they're a long shot but uh but it's realistic for us to think about n c w a regionals as well the first round of the n c w a s and uh they'd have to get down about three ten to be on the uh, to be in the mix and um so um you know those are the goals that they have for the distance guys like i said we're um a lot of us are young and um we've got to get out and just gain more experience and um i just for the guys that competed in the ACCs and the IC4As who uh, didn't achieve a finals, I like to see them just putting themselves in better uh, positions competitively, um, learning from those experiences. And, um, you know, it's not just about uh, personal bests and, um, you know, individual achievements. I like to see them just putting it on the line for their teammates, giving it everything they have, and, uh, you know, just knowing that at the end of the day that it was their best and uh, that, you know, it wasn't just... Uh, you know about uh, a second here or there that they were they were just they were concentrating on their team and focusing on the season as a whole and and finishing in a better place than they started well thank you and good luck with the upcoming season all right thanks a lot